Welcome back to our series of short videos looking at specific multiple choice questions for the new A-levels ahead of the summer exams in 2017. Let's take another look at a question. This time it's on the central bank policy of quantitative easing or QE for short. Here's our question. How is the pursuit of quantitative easing by a country's central bank likely to affect the price of government bonds and the country's foreign exchange rate. What do you think your answer is? Take a moment or two to think through your answer. Press the pause button. I'll be back in a few seconds with the right answer and an explanation. And the correct answer to this question on QE is B. Price of bonds is likely to increase whilst the exchange rate is likely to depreciate. So let's think about the reasoning behind this, this answer. So quantitative easing is when the central bank, of course, goes into the markets and typically it buys government bonds, for example, from the banking system. But it's a net buyer of bonds and this increases the price of bonds in the open market because the central bank is an extra buyer. If the price of bonds goes up, there's an inverse relationship between the market price of the bond and the yield or the interest rate on a bond. So increased bond prices will generally call a fall, cause a fall in long-term interest rates in the economy. Now, when interest rates go down, this typically leads to a fall in the rate of interest in savings accounts and could lead to a fall, uh, so an outflow of hot money from the economy. And as hot money leaves an economy, there's an increased supply of that country's currency across the foreign exchanges. As hot money flows out, the currency will tend to depreciate. So one of the channels through which quantitative easing works is through a fall in interest rates causing a depreciation of the currency. So that's why the answer is B. The price of bonds will increase because of QE and the exchange rate will depreciate.